What do I talk? What do I talk? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? How's it going? My name is Dakshina. No, completely no. <laughs> I had this camera for about five years now. I think it's my best camera. How's it going? <laughs> no, no, I definitely not. I have to cut off that. What I'm gonna talk to you guys. Ah, oh, I don't want to make this awkward, but um, I need to talk to you. I need to talk something. How do I get the start off? All right, let's start it. All right, let's get started. Let's do this. All right, my name is Dakshina and I do the red dot. Is that even? I'm the red dot. Okay, I run the red dot. <laughs> Whatever. So uh, you're watching red dot guys. So today's video is gonna be about a completely different video. It's gonna be about me. I'm gonna talk about me. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna talk a little bit about me. Yeah, I thought of addressing some people. A lot of people. I thought actually talking to you guys. For the peop for people who's curious about what is this guy doing for years? How how this guy is doing this? So when did you start this? A lot of my friends or my relatives don't know about me much. People I meet uh, when I have a conversation, hey, what do you do? What's your uh, what's your other side? You know, what do you do outside of work life? You know, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna address that question. I think it's very important to say that. I feel like how did it all started? Yes, that's the ta that's the that's the topic of the video. So let me put that into my notes. How did it all how did it all started? Okay, so people, here's the thing. Um, I don't know nothing about photography, filmmaking. I have I had no clue. Uh, my friends know me very well. Uh, back in the days in school, I was born and raised in Sri Lanka. Uh, everybody knows me. I was not talking about photography. I had n absolute zero knowledge about it. I don't know how I got into this, but I can tell you uh, when I got it. Like I can tell you what made me, my, what made my personality to change everything. And yeah, and that's I think that's the that's the best way to put it out. Uh, and it's all started. Uh, it's all started when I was, when I was in school, in, in college here. Yeah, it was. It was a tough. Being a college student was really, really tough. You living on a tight budget, uh, and uh, you can't do much of the things. You just have to focus in life, had to focus in your studies, make sure you get your classes done very well. And yeah, that's pretty much a college student would do. Uh, most of the college students. So. Stretch out. Okay, it's all started with this. Again, now this is not a iPhone 15 unboxing video. <laughs> For some reason, I like to collect iPhones. The original packaging of the phones, I still have about five to six boxes. I like to collect for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, I have them. This phone. This is the. Oh, let's put this all. Like I said, I have the original everything, like the stickers. And everything so this is the iPhone 7 plus this is how I started everything in the channel in this channel the red dot if you go very bottom to my videos in my channel if you check all that videos down in the very below first eight videos were shot on this this phone like you know people thought that I was at the time when I shot the video and uploaded on the red dot, people people thought, oh, did you bought any cameras? Man, what's, what camera are you using? It looked really good on that, you know? People, people commented me, I was like, yeah, for sure, I got cameras. No, this one, and just gonna keep this away. Man, I should have, I should have kept that in, right in front of me. But yeah, this one and this too. So this is the DJI Osmo Gimbal. This is how I started with my YouTube channel. Um, I was using this phone for a while and then 
uh, was taking decent pictures and videos, you know, everybody commenting me, hey, your pictures looks good, man, you should, you know, you have a good eye, you know, okay, thank you very much. And then uh, I actually thought about it, you know, you have done some handheld videos, you know, walking videos, some running shots, things like that. Uh, I, uh, I thought it's fun. I enjoyed it. So uh, that is the first stage of my how do I say, um, of my journey, I would say. Uh, and also, I can't forget this name, Peter McKinnon. I said, right, Peter McKinnon. And uh, everybody knows, if you're on YouTube, you knows this guy. He's the one who inspired me to get into photography and filmmaking. And Peter, if you're watching this video, hats off for you, thank you so much, appreciate it. Uh, Peter actually made a lot of people, uh, he made, he, he opened the eyes of a lot of people. He actually motivated people and he showed that, confidently he showed that you can do something in this platform. Once again, thank you so much. So he, he inspired me to start photography filmmaking. I was watching his videos and uh, watching every single episode uh, and some of the filmmakers too and you know. I was at the at the first stages of learning photography and what the heck is a camera I, ha I don't know nothing about cameras I've never held the camera before it's just very curious about me so I was so much let me put this back so if I break into uh, like stage one two and three so stage one is always like you know you are curious to know you're hungry to learn uh, but you had you had no equipment with you limited resources but you're still learning every single day, something like researching about it, all that things. So, and then um, the stage two is the process where the switching happens like from an iPhone to a professional camera. That decision was the hardest decision in my life because I had to spend a lot of money. I was in school, living on a tight, tight budget, living on a tight budget. So, um, yeah, it's an investment, but then uh, the other hand, I don't know if it's gonna where would it take me to, you know? I don't know it's if it's gonna go where where would it go? So um, uh, it was hard, but I had to take that decision. I that that's what I like to do. So I took it. I got the cameras. This is the first camera, A72, and then the first lens I bought it. Really tiny, 50 millimeters, and Sony A72. That's it. So that's a solid. Um, a camera and a, and a lens to start off my journey so ever since then I had this in with me I was shooting insanely I was going out I was taking everything in hard winters you know you tell me everywhere I was taking because I need to practice so that's how it begins that's the stage two part I was curious to know about this I was learning all the tricks and stuff like that I was putting everything I learned into into practical now so it took me a long time to get to get here today. I'm sitting sitting here and talking to you guys. Yeah, a lot of work I had to put it on, but it was a parcel that I have to put it together and to bring it out to you guys. Uh, when you go to stage three, that's where my um, my channel, my recreation of channel, are all these advanced things come into play. Uh, that's now upgrade into another camera, another professional video, uh, hybrid cameras, uh, all that, a lot of things comes into you. So a lot of ideas and a lot of equipments comes into the play. Um, yeah, that's that's the stage three part. So if you watch my videos and if you follow me or watching my videos throughout these sessions, you probably seen that change uh, from my very first video to the video now. It's completely different video. So. Change. I think I found my algorithm, my way of presenting to you guys, and that that is what I'm gonna do uh, all the time. So, this you know, I started looking at many things like reading articles, like watching videos, filmmakers, following legendary photographers, following their work, and see you know how how things have been done. So, I spent a lot of time and studied a lot. I was pulling out videos from here and there. And trying to see what my passion is gonna go, what what I can go, how far I can go with YouTube, and this is what I like to do. This is what I wanted to do. Um, I, my doors are open now. 
and now I'm on a different road. Uh, I think I'm on the right track and uh, I found my algorithm, I found uh, posting the videos, I found a way to address you all. And also finally, um, I am working on, on my YouTube studio designing. Um, that's really, really hectic recent days now, I'll be putting a lot of hours on it. And um, yeah, uh, hopefully I can do a video update on that, uh, maybe a vlog kind of thing, but I don't know. Um, yeah, just stay tuned with that. I think I'll see you on another day. See you.